loves, I was about to get on the lives. I know I'm procrastinating. I know it. I know it, but I'm getting on them. I'm, I'm starting to, in fact, I already have three done, so they're coming. But while I was over here, I was thinking, because the energy has been so heavy, so heavy lately. I think so many of us are irritated, frustrated, we're grieving. Um, it's just chaotic. It feels so chaotic right now. So many people are suffering through it. It's, it's almost trying to figure out how to get past this and keep your sanity. You know what I'm saying? I think we're all kind of feeling this way between the COVID-19, you know, the, the killings, things that are happening in the media. It's rough. You know, I think we're all trying to figure out how to fix it how to make it better and that's where the frustration comes in how do we do it do we pray about it do we talk about it do we riot do we we call for a revolution with our spirits what do we do it's so complicated and sometimes it makes you feel powerless because you're like okay I know I'm here for a reason I know I'm here to do something but what is it how do I help? How do I, how do I make things better? I think right now we're really seeing a balance of shadows, light, fears, hopes. You know, so many are, are are trying to figure out what's the right path. What do they do on it? How do they get past it? You know, is it going to get better? I think at this point, one of the things we probably should be focusing on is self care. How do I make sure that I'm okay? How do I make sure that, you know, this is not tearing me down? Um, do I need to go outside? Do I need to get air? Do I need to meditate? Do I need to, you know, get in a group? Do I need to work with a charity? Whatever it is, you got to figure out what helps you balance this energy because it can take control of you and it could really cause issues of depression anxiety paranoia where we're just kind of like you know we're looking we're looking everywhere for something to happen it's a chaotic world right now doesn't seem to be getting better anytime soon so for a lot of sensitives we we have to figure out a way to manage it we have to figure out a way to transmute this energy that is you know negative and heavy and tense it can be done I mean, we all have to figure out, it could be an individual thing where it's like, okay, today I'm just going to take care of me. I'm going to take care of my little circle and then I'm going to, I'm going to build out from there. You know, then I'm going to connect with more people, my soul family. I'm going to talk to more people. I'm going to join groups. I'm going to become more of an activist. Whatever it is that it takes to help you get through this, be open to it. Be open to what spirit brings to you. You know, our ancestors have done this before. Oppression, violence, rebellion, this is really nothing new. We've done this over and over again. And I, I, at a point it does get tired. I'm not even gonna lie, it's tiresome. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, what the fuck? When are we ever gonna get past it? Call on your ancestors, call on them, talk to them. Ask them to help you maneuver this, to navigate this, to give you strength, to give you insight on what is your place in this? What do you need to do? How do you make it through this? Because they've gone through it before. They haven't forsaken us. They're still here. I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, we need to rise up. Well, we are. I think it's where you're, where you're at. If you're in the spiritual community, we're doing it spiritually. If you're on the front lines, you may be putting some muscle behind it. If you're a light, light worker, you, you may be, you know, sending out the vibes. I think we're all trying to play our part, but I think sometimes, you know, you have to realize that we can't do things by ourselves. We have to call on a higher source, a higher power, and say, you know what, keep me strong. Keep me focused. Keep me moving towards the goals that I need to navigate the situation, to navigate this life. It's a hard energy. You know, I woke up this morning and I was kind of like, uh, and in fact, voodoo kept me up all night thinking I was fighting demons. That's a whole nother story, but it's one of those things where 
the energy is just off, draining, um, frustrating. And I think as spiritual people, we have to kind of figure out what our place is. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to pull back, meditate? Are we supposed to march? Are we supposed to work in the spiritual? What are we supposed to do? Listen to your ancestors. Let them guide you. Take the time to take care of yourself. Go outside. Take your shoes off. Walk in the dirt. Walk in the grass. Lay in it. Hug a tree. You know, if you feel like you need to be a part of an organization, join an organization. Whatever it is that you need to help you feel like your purpose is being served during this time, do it. But don't forget your self-care. Don't forget to take care of you. Don't forget to pray, to meditate, to eat the right foods, to try to get more rest, to turn off the news when you have to, to get off of social media when you have to. These things are triggers for a lot of people. And if you continuously look at it, you know, it's going to continue to drain you, continue to bring you down. So take the time away from it. Disable it. You know, some people are like, I try not to look. I try not to look. Well, take it off. Take it off your phone. You can put it back on. Page will still be there when you decide to open it back up. But if you need to take the break, take the break. If you don't, you're going to break yourself down. You're going to drain yourself. And then that's no good to you. That's no good to anybody else. So let me know. Put in the comments how you feel. And I'm praying. I'm, I'm, everybody's on the altar. Candles are being lit. You know, if you need help, reach out. If you need somebody to talk to, reach out. You know, you're not in this by yourself. I think for us to get through it, that we, we have to find or figure out a way to unite. Some kind of way. We have to. We have to find some type of balance in this. It may get worse before it gets better, but we can't stop trying to make it better. All right, you guys, I know rumblings of a mambo. Just woke up with it on my mind, woke up with it a little heavy. <sighs> and I'm gonna go walk out in the grass, water my plants, talk to them, sing to them, dance for them, get my energy back up and then come back and do the monthlies, take care of you guys. But like I said, I'm here for you. If you need a prayer, put it in the comment. I'm definitely trying to keep everything covered in my, in my prayers on my altar. So I love you guys. Stay safe. Talk to you soon.